Live from Vermont, it's Batter Day Night. Live from Vermont, it's Batter Day Night. It's a brand new show. Answered, we can't see it, so it's a rhetorical how is it going? What happened? One of the cameras isn't working all of a sudden. I thought we just fixed this. We're just trying to keep them in suspense. Like I just fixed this. Which one is it? Well I now this one's back. Okay, we're good there. I think it's the, the webcam. One of those two? Um, well, Wait, either way, thank you for tuning in. We're here, you know. Just knock that other camera off the thing. I that works. Now. Yeah, that that totally reminded me of some like old school fucking like AFI or something. Yeah. Had that that feel. So it's the higher I one. Yeah, it just didn't touch it enough. You didn't turn it on.
Oh, do you know that song? No, what are you playing? A song called uh, Morning Star. Kind of. I think we're in the wrong tune in. And you just shook all four of those at once. That was like brilliant thinking. He's definitely not forgetting to shake the cans tonight. So, you know, a lot of the viewers might have seen that, you know, we've been playing. Oh, I forgot to change the strolly text. <gasps> oh, no, the strolly text. It says our guest is the anthem still in the song. Oh, no, we're very yeah. sorry. Sorry, Todd Pronto, man. You know, we got we to gotta, we gotta, we gotta write this wrong somehow by just changing it real quick. But. But yeah, so to our to some uh, to anyone that's tuning in, all one of our few faithful viewers, um, if if we even have a faithful viewer, we have a little contest on. Like literally, no one won our special prize last episode because we don't have any friends. Well, we do, but you know they're just not here right now, and they might be imaginary, but. Yeah, that, that 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 was getting old. Um, yeah, so uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, send Thanks. like yeah. fucking donations, and we will send you shit. Yeah, even you don't even have to send donations. We will send it to you with our own money. We will pay our own check, check, money checks. to send you stuff that is already like ready to be sent. We just don't have the people. We don't have the sendees. We don't have the people to receive. No one wants to receive a package from us. Does no one want to receive our package? I guess, uh, even though we've <laughs> asked very nicely and been all, I know. mean, we could always like you know, you know, some people are into other things. You know, we could you know, we could aggressively send a package. Aggressively, we could like. Find out exactly we where just you gotta live. And just send you something randomly. No, no, no. What we just gotta do? We just start just like looking up random fucking addresses and just start sending people shit. And people are gonna get it. Be like, yo, what is this? What is this even? And should they'll we play tune in. Should we play a song? Yeah, we should probably do that. Okay. I probably should stop talking. You want to do your cover song that you got pulled up here? Oh, I suppose. Can you read it? That's why I got my spectacles on, but I can't see half of it because I put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, no, it needs to be like on the fucking other part of the screen, but whatever. We'll fucking win it. I'll just do it like this. Does it? Yeah, you started, remember? Hey. 
take away this body and chain. So if anyone needs to know, I just downed my fucking drink. <laughs> Take away this bottle and check.
Oh, there's the song. Well, Good yeah, night, everybody. Yeah. That was a song. That was a fucking. You know, we played the fucking full song. Oh my Again? god. I wasn't stopping that time. I noticed. I mean, there was one time where I tried to cue a stop, and then they were like, hey, "You're still going." Oh, okay. Yeah, that shit happens, man. Yeah, let's try to do this without actually having the fucking chords. What? Yeah, we're not going to bed down here. Hell no, we couldn't hear it. <laughs> yeah. What else do I do? Do the fiddle? Ah, you son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Careful. Oh no, we're not worried about the equipment. That chair is fucking unstable. Yeah, just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, it's comfortable, but it just if, if wobbles left and right. Let's go to yeah. Yeah, you gotta be able to do imagination. I'll just follow you for once. <laughs> Except you start the song, so. Yeah. You really throw me off with that, man. With what? I don't know, just. The way I play it? 
I guess. I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just the guitar tone ain't right. There you go, there you go. Sit down. Listen, mama. Listen, pa. You gon' make this as a real big song. Been on the roof. Son of a bitch. Oh, you're good, man. Yeah. We're doing a show. I don't know if you notice on the thing there. Yeah, we got a live show on the internet. Oh, you're oh, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, no, we welcome guests all the time. It may just play better when there's someone watching. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. And of course, this camera ain't on me again either. Yeah, again. Where oh where is the camera? Uh, yeah, it is. It is. It's on you this time. The camera's right right up there. It's on you this time. Right on top of that speaker is red cups. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do we do? We do what? Oh, red solo cup. Nah. Red solo cup. No, you know how many I times I heard that, that song because Ray keeps playing it at work. <laughs> I told I, I I mean I love I like Toby Keith, 
But that song was just fucking ridiculous. I thought it was stupid, honestly. It, it was it was amusing. Yeah. Until yeah. it wasn't. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to try now without your... Fuck, I don't know, man. I'm so used to having the tablet with the cords. Yeah, I know. The My bad probably wasn't know. a good idea to bring it when, when you still haven't really... Dude, I completely just didn't even think about it. I was like, yeah. oh, we don't want to play music. I don't need that anymore. Okay. So, yeah, this is a test. I guess. I mean, you know, that's why I said you're probably just going to jam a little you know, a little bit. Do some jamming then. And that cl- that thing in the beginning was cool, but don't do it again because we got. Uh, we well, we already did it. We already got it on video. Yeah. Yeah. We can always do what I did with uh, leaving the meta. We have so much material, and this album that we're doing now that I can't wait to like actually put out this time because it doesn't sound like the first time I did it. And you know, uh, if anyone's like listening and actually has a band, I actually know yeah. I get all the music on Apple Music, on on all the online platforms. So do I. I have an account to do it, and I have a free album available to put on. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. I've been saving it. I, I already have a program that well. I signed up for. I don't, don't remember what give me royalty fees. Yeah, that does. Some I don't know what I don't remember what site it is. Oh. But it's yeah, it's one of them. But I got free, I got, I got a free album, so just keep an eye out. But Buddha's eventually done, you know, recording. this setup a lot better over here. I wish James was here to play on it. I think he'd like this a lot better too.
started out kind of like slow. A little then bit. Then yeah. then I, was I was still figuring out the drum thing, how to do that. That, that totally had a, that totally reminded me of like the fucking Ramones. Kind of a little punkish. Yeah, yeah, punk, punk rock vibe. We got nine minutes before Top Toronto's coming on. Well Entertain us all. Should we do another one of our songs? We could, or we could save those, and we could do it with another cover, I know. What do you know? The the other Social D song. Oh, God, we ain't doing two Social D songs in one night. Hey, so I don't fucking love Social I ain't, D. I, 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 well, good for you, man. We know where a lot of your influences are. I think the Meat Puppets would have been very proud of that version because they like that kind of shit. Less, less like sellout kind of version, you mean? Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, the Meat Puppets. No, we're not talking about Nirvana. I mean, I like Nirvana, Nirvana's version of that too, but. I mean, you've heard the Meat Puppets. You've heard of their music, you know? They, they like that shit raw and with mistakes left and right. the drummer <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry man hey, if you pulled the words up on that screen I could probably fucking crank it out but no. it's been a while like when we do covers you gotta do something that like you know wholeheartedly I don't that you listen to like you you have to do a song that your soul searches for or you're not gonna do it good you know Oh, I'm going to piss you off with that one then, so now nah, I better not. Why? That's not a song your soul is searching for. No, right but now. I know that song so fucking well. I've played that it's for so <laughs> long. The problem is, the problem is, Buddha, when I first started playing that song, I played it, you know, 
a lot differently. And over time, I've developed my own, like, strumming and own picking. But. Well, it's, al- it's almost time for, uh. Yeah, it's almost time for Todd. Yeah, I don't know if we get even time for another song, and we're cutting to his segment. Yeah, and I'm dying for a cigarette. There's. Yeah. Oh, no smoking in here, man. What? Yeah, please take that outside. Sorry. But we'll probably be outside. We'll probably be outside to join you real quick in a moment. <coughs> but anyway. Um. Yeah, so I will get on there and start setting up Todd yeah. on the thing there. I think I got a microphone over there anyway. Yeah, and we'll we'll try to think of some songs we know and try to entertain all of you wonderful people out there. And, you know, we'll talk to you later. And I'll show you where to go. Well, I mean, you know, he, d- he didn't know. So he had to go. I'm just going to shut up now. Here we go. Oh, man, it's been sitting down there so long. It's got a dent in it. In the pop filter screen. All right, let's connect us to Todd. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, we probably should have done that before, but, you know, we're having quite an episode tonight. Okay. Join call. I think he's already on waiting for us. This is perfect. Yeah, okay, hold on. Can you hear me, Todd? Oh, I can't hear you right now. Okay, hold on. Let me switch over. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, Todd Pronto. Uh, gonna sing you so, I don't know if you can uh, hear me, but uh, there's a ton of static. Um, oh, hey. Go ahead, Todd. The stage is yours. I was a little bit early. I'm sorry. Is that okay? Can you can, hold on? Let me make sure he can hear me. It's so weird when we do this. I'm still learning how to master. All right, it's all mine. I'm on. I'm on. Oh good. All right, I'm gonna take my I'm gonna okay. take my headphones off because can't right, uh, ahead, can't play with headphones on, and I'm gonna. All right, it's all mine. There we go. And I'm gonna mute my phone. Hey guys. All right. Thanks for having me. My name is Todd Pronto, as you can see down in this corner, this corner. Not good at mirrors. Let's sing a few songs, shall we? Myself. Well, I could 
could walk right out of the fire, but I'm not that guy. And I won't stop until the devil is satisfied. Well, don't you know this world just ain't fair? And I'm going. set me an angel to set me free awesome thanks man i will do that all right so uh, i'm a little embarrassed because I usually pride myself on being prepared, but I forgot my harmonicas over there on the piano. So my girlfriend is going to be my assistant right now, and she's going to go get my harmonicas so I can play the next song for you. Yeah, there's, a, there's, the right. yeah, there should be one in the holder. Yep. <clears throat> All right. How yes. How y'all doing? I'm so excited to to be on this show. I um, I do a live stream show of my own every Sunday morning. It says it in the uh, the little thing next to my next to my face. <laughs> it's called Coffee with Todd. It's at 9 a.m. and I have guests on occasionally. I haven't for a little while, but uh, I get to be a guest on a show now. So how cool is that? So okay. thanks guys for letting me on. We were uh, we had some dinner. Just not that long ago, and we were listening to you guys um, rock out. And I said uh, to Danielle, Danielle's my girlfriend. I said, "Boy, these guys, these guys rock. I'm gonna come on here and put everybody to sleep with my folk music." <laughs> so I tried to pick my most um, upbeat folk music for you guys tonight. It's not folk rock, but it's of the variety so all the songs that i'm going to do for you guys today i wrote except for the very last one we're going to go back to like 1850s for that song but i'm getting ahead of myself let's get back behind this song is called shingles This song ease my troubled mind. Ain't that what good folk singers do? But I don't expect you to hang on every word. I just hope that you will give a listen through. Now, folks look defeated as they slowly cross the street. They're heading to the office from their cars And you can see it in their posture and the bags below their eyes Longing to 
be anywhere but where they are and the winds of change are blowing around that old wind blew right through town yeah the winds of change are blowing around that old wind blew the shingles right off of my house Every night about midnight I fix myself a snack But there ain't many vittles lying round Oh, Mother Hubbard, I got nothing in my cupboard But this dented can of lentils that I found And the winds of change are blowing round that old wind blew right through town Yeah, the winds of change are blowing around That old wind blew the shingles right off of my house the bottle about seven years ago I left behind the headaches and regrets but I'm still living dangerously with caffeine sex and cigarettes and the winds of change are blowing around that old through town yeah the winds of change blowing round that old wind blew the shingles right off of my house so will the circle be unbroken by and by lord by and by there's a better Home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. I said I was playing all my rockin' folk songs, and that was just kind of a folky folk song. That was a folky folk song. That was a folky folk song, if there ever was a folk song. Well, that was the folkiest folk song, I do believe. <laughs> Very folky. <laughs> oh, man, this is fun. Uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, my name is Todd Pronto. I am a singer-songwriter from uh, the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont, born and raised in Newport, Vermont, on the east side. <laughs> And uh, <clears throat> I uh, travel around, I play music. Folk music, I sing songs, I tell stories. I do have a trio called the Todd Pronto Trio. It's the same thing, but with an upright bass and drums. And I'm also in a rock band called Foozle. Um, it was originally my high school rock band. We got back together during the, the pandemic and started uh, rocking. We haven't done a whole lot of shows, but um, we will. I also do a show Sunday morning, 9 a.m., right on Facebook, and YouTube, and Twitch, and Twitter. I'm on all of them. It's called Coffee with Todd. 9 a.m. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow morning's show because we have to change the clocks. We have to spring ahead. My least favorite of the clock changes. I like falling backwards. I'm a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> I've grown accustomed to falling backwards. 
I uh, <laughs> no, because my nine o'clock show is gonna feel like it's at eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be rough times. It won't be. We're gonna have fun. I recorded three albums. I'm recording my fourth right now. You can find me on Spotify. Uh, the easiest way to find my music actually is to go to toddpronto.com. And uh, down at the bottom of the page, there's links to Spotify and Apple Music and all that other stuff. I didn't pull my music offline with Neil Young because I don't have that luxury of making money as an artist all that much. <laughs> so my first album I recorded in Nashville, Tennessee for uh, a record company called Be Venturous Records and this is called Crutch.
So we messed up a couple of the words. It's all right. Me, 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 me. I haven't played um, a live show in a couple minutes. Um, supposed to play live New Year's Eve at uh, first night, and that got canceled. I did it live right here from the living room online. Um, I was supposed to have a show in January, and uh, that also got canceled because of the the... The omna, omnicron, crony, the omnicronial variant canceled that one. The the octagon variant, I believe, came in. Is that an octagon? <laughs> the octagon variant ruined that show, and it done get rescheduled for April. So, if you're watching and you live near Brattleboro, Vermont, uh, I will be playing at the Latches Theater April 29th. It's my next like. Uh, real show. No, I shouldn't say real show. It's my next uh, in-person show. In a theater with uh, with Livingston. I'm opening for Livingston Taylor. Uh, his brother James is celebrating his 74th birthday today. I do a James Taylor song. I don't know any. <laughs> you you think uh, real show in quotes? You'd think I'd know a James Taylor song, but I, I don't want to make his brother jealous. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think I'm going to open with this one. You guys tell me if this is a good one to open with. Well, I get up on Monday and I drag my ass to work. More than the clock, my manager's a jerk. But I put the blinders on, cause I've got bills to pay. And if I don't pay them, man, they'll take my car away. My father always tells me I should get a better job. He says I work too damn hard for what little. Hard to draft your resume while lacing up your boots. So I keep pressing on, cause that's what people do, but it ain't so hard. It ain't so hard. If I'm coming home to you, my cousin, he quit drinking. Man, he walks 12 steps a day. He's Drinking coffee in church basements to keep the monkey away. He says it keeps him humble and he's thankful for what he's got. But since it's basically legal now, he ain't never quit in pot. It ain't so hard. It ain't so hard. I'm coming
wait for it. <laughs> wait for it. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm watching myself on my phone down here, and I'm like 20 seconds behind. And they told me time travel hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> Speaking of that, we watched the Adam Project on, was that Netflix? Yeah. Last night. That's a good little movie. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but I recommend it. It's even a movie you can watch with your children. I believe. Right? There weren't really any swears in it. It's pretty all right. Yeah. I got two more songs for you guys. I'm going to play my hit song. <laughs> and then I'm going to play an old uh, traditional song. I can't wait to play that one. But first, I have to play my hit song. If you've ever seen me in concert, this is the song that people know. I don't have a lot of requests other than Freebird. <laughs> but if there is a request, it's always a song. And it's always at the beginning of my set. And I'm like, dude, you have to wait. <laughs> you have to end with your banger and then come on with an encore. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to end this. It's going to be a banger. And then I'm going to pretend that y'all want an encore. And I'm going to sing a traditional song. <laughs> The song is about my very first car. I bought it when I was 15 years old for $200, and we parked it in a garage. Uh, a friend of my dad's had the storage shed, is what it was. We parked it, and when I turned 16 and I got my license, we went and got my car. It was a 1974 Dodge Dart. Now, I paid $200 for it. I drove it for about three months before the, str the struts went through the trunk of the car. But I got my money's worth because I have made more than $200 in royalties on this song over the years. And that's not saying a lot with the amount of royalties that you get from streaming services. <laughs> but I've made more than $200 over 10 years or something like that. So the car paid for itself, gosh darn it. And it's immortalized in this song. It goes like this. Sing along at home home if you know it i won't be able to hear you well two hundred dollars was all i paid it was avocado and bondo gray fancy but she was a pistol when you put it in gear Built like a tank and had power steered. Well, I 91, the southbound lane I hit a hundred and twenty and she started to shake. Well, I never had such a rush. I left a black Mercedes just needing dust. It was a '74. Man, she really tore Had a big old hole on the passenger floor Where you could sit, watch the asphalt fly Pedal to the metal, baby, hold on tight It was a 74 Dodge dark And she handled like a shopping cart They tracked
to freedom. Work of art, 74. Dodge Dart. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do one more. One more for y'all. I got time, right? Is there anything that I should uh, that I should promote that I missed before I play the last song? I don't think so. I got coffee with Todd tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Grab yourself a cup of coffee and join me. Well, I'll be tired tomorrow because the clocks will change. Don't forget, by the way, to set your clocks ahead or just let your cell phone do it. <laughs> um, oh, thanks. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'd love to come back on. Um, all right, so this last song is a Stephen Foster song from 1854. I started doing it um, during the, the pandemic just because, well, it's a timeless song and felt like it fit. It always fits because there's always something stupid going on in the world. <clears throat> I can sing this song to the day I die because it's just as relevant today as it was in 1854, except for some of the lyrics are... There's words like wafted and um, sup, but not like, hey, sup, like something completely different, like like taking a sup of something. What other word? There's murmured. Who uses the word murmured? Well, we're going to use all those words in this song. So I shall transport you back to a worser time. 1854. Watch out, microphone. Did you see that? I punched the microphone. <laughs> Let us pause in life's pleasures and Count its many tears While we all suck the sorrow with the poor there's a song that will linger forever in our ears. Oh, hard times come again no more. While we seek mirth and beauty, music light and gay, there are frail forms fading at the door. Though their voices are silent, their pleading looks will say, Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis the song, the sigh of the weary. Hard times, hard times. Indoor, oh, hard times come again no more. There's a pale and sorrow maiden who toils her life away with a worn heart whose better days are over. Though her voice would be merry. Come again. 
a sigh that is wafted across a troubled wave. Tis a wail that is heard upon the shore. Tis a dirge that is murmured around lowly grave. Oh, hard times come again. That's it. Sorry about that little cough there. <clears throat> Had some rough times. All right. I don't know if I can hear you guys or not, but I'm going to put my headphones on. Can you hear me? Todd, can you hear me? Hello? Am I coming through? <clears throat> Thank you all for having Thank me. Thank you all for having yeah, me. Definitely. Can you hear me? Is the mic working? To drink some water no, together. I so I, I can't uh, hear you guys. I don't know. Oh, um, I'm reading the. I'm reading the um, closed captioning here on my phone. I I do not hear you. What I hear is uh, static. No, sir. I just the hear the static. See if I can figure out how to, how to use chat. Hey. Hey. Ba -bum -bum. I can hear you finally. Well, not finally. I mean, like, as far as interview, guest interviews go, finally. But now you can hear me. Oh. 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 Ah. Oh. Ah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, do you want me to play one more song? I can play one more. All right, yeah, I'll play one more. We won't be able to do the interview because um, there's technical diff difficulties. All right, I'll play one more. I'll play one more song. What should I play? We'll have Danielle choose it. I put her on the spot. I know. All right. I'll do this one. I haven't done this one for a couple minutes. All right. I'm going to play one more. This is my encore. This is my encore. Uh, I'll do a song of mine. I'll even tune for you guys real quick. These strings aren't my favorite. This is my favorite guitar strings me by the way i hope everybody was safe out there and if you had to travel on the roads i hope it was all right and if, if you were able to stay home that's what we did actually if you go to my facebook page we sang in the middle of a snowstorm 
I did a sitting on the dock of the bay out in the snow. <clears throat> All right, I want to thank Alan and the gang for having me on uh, the show. It was so much fun. And uh, if you're watching it after it's um, live, uh, the rerun, hi, thank you so much. I'll play one more song, and then I'm going to fade off into the night. And I'll be right back here in this same chair and probably these same clothes tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We do a song called Coffee with Todd. I haven't sang this song for a long time, so let's see if I can remember it, but it's called Sin and Stone. <coughs> he never carries a Bible, but he likes what it says. You're safe from hell's fire if you just bow your head. Always keeping his distance from the suffering below those who live in glass houses go to churches made of stone they sleep in bus stations the street is their home Pretends he can't see them, he's not handing out loans. When Sunday comes around, he wipes the sin from his throne. Those who live in glass houses go to churches made of stone. And each night over dinner, he stumbles. by the fireplace very self-loathing in diamonds and gold those who live in glass houses go to churches made of stone made of stone made of stone sits in a plastic ashtray in a godless motel room where they're moaning his name money can buy what you can't get at home those who live in glass houses go to churches of stone those who live in glass houses go to churches Something happened to one of our cameras. Which one is that? It's probably one of the cell phones. Hold on. Dang it. It's always something.
All right, everybody. Takes me a minute to walk over from the computer to the drum set. But, uh, yeah, excellent set from Todd Tronto. Definitely got to get him back on the show. That was that was a great, uh, great set. Thank you again, Todd. Yeah, that um, sounded great. So we're gonna we're gonna kick it up here with a cover song, or at least we're gonna try to. Uh, yeah, it's it's hard to follow that, man. Uh oh, watch out where you're stepping over there, cause the screen, the HDMI cable is yeah. touchy. Oh, it's good. It's good now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got. I'm showing off the mouse over here. <laughs> I forgot how this one actually starts and everything. It starts with guitar. It just starts with you? Is that be be better? tune or what? It'd be better if I'd be in tune. Yeah, I was right? about to say, that sounds. I mean, we saw Todd tune in, so... I think we got some uh, some potential contest winners too. Yeah, yeah. I noticed people commenting and and liking and sharing, so we're gonna like, go back and put those names into a little hat. And uh, the last episode of the month, we're gonna draw the name live. And uh, yeah, that sounds. You good. will win yourself some merch. Do do. What happened there? I skipped a line. <laughs> I <laughs> saw that because I started singing along, and I'm like, "Wait, we're not singing the same thing at the." No, no, I'm I'm trying to read it. I'm trying to read it. All right, just go into the chorus. Ready? One, two, three, four. They don't write them like that anymore. They don't
See, I told you, you know, we're trying to follow Todd, and we fucked up. Nah, James knows how to fuck with that thing, and sometimes I, sometimes I can get in the in the groove right to use it, but. <laughs> Oh yeah. I was a rebel from the day I left school. Threw my hand on and broke all the rules. Sitting listening to my records all day. Bed in my shares of where I could play. Barry stopped me while I was found. So I do a time they won't be about. They said my friends were just an unruly mob and I should get a haircut and get a real job. Get a haircut and get a real job. Clean your racked up and don't be a slob. Get it together like your big brother Rob, why don't you? Get a haircut and get a real job. Even drive that nine to five scene. Told myself that it was all a bad dream. Found a band and some good songs to play. Now I'm party all night and sleep all day. Met this shit, she was my number one fan. Took me home to meet her mommy and dad. They took one look and said, Oh my god! Get a haircut and get a real job. Get a haircut and get a real job. Clean your rack up and don't be the slob. Get it together like your big brother Rob, why don't you? Get a haircut and get a real job. Get a real job. Why don't you get a real job? Get a real job. Why don't you get a real job? It's a big time with my rock and roll band. Just brought it out that I'd ever plan. Ten times richer than my big brother Rob. He's got a haircut, he's got a real job. Get a haircut and get a real job. We your wrapped up and don't be a slob. Get it together like your big brother Rob, why don't you? Get a haircut and get a real job. Or get a real job. Why don't you get a real job? Get a real job. Why don't you get a real job? You know, on, on that funny note, uh, I did get a haircut, and I actually started a new job on Monday. Right. So. That's possible. I guess we're pretty much just doing covers until the cartoons start. Yeah, yeah, we got that some good cartoons perfect, on tonight. Because you know? now we already got two songs picked out for our last segment. All right. So, yeah.
It's about time for some to look at the empty drum seat. I can always switch to the screen. Switch to the studio scene real quick. Ah, hey, it's me. Hi. So, you know, if you want to be on the show or have your material featured on the show, give me a give me a shout at the email that you saw on the, on the screen that was that went by over here a little while ago. You'll see it again. But it's time to time to start some cartoons for everybody. We got some new cartoons tonight if you noticed in the intro credits if you watched that long or not. Uh anyway. So three, two, one, magic time. I don't know, let's see. Let's look at the clock. Oh man, I got like here we go. Ten, nine. Red roses too. 
Taking the twins out today, remember? Come on, out of bed, you lazy git. And don't roll over and go back to sleep. I know what you're like, George. Right, George, you go in the post office and get some money out and catch us up, alright? And don't be too long now. I'll try not to be. Alright, love, see you in a minute. Alright, Eric, Stanley, what brings you in here this early, eh? Oh, you know us, George. We're up early on pension day, plus the betting shop opens soon. You coming down there, mate? Oh, I can't, Eric. Taking the sprogs out, and I? I'll try and get down there a bit later, all right? Granny, what's taking Grandpa so long? And why do you have to wear glasses all the time? Because your Grandpa's blind as a bat without his glasses, and he's probably taking so long because he's got talking to them friends of his trying to get him to come down that bloody betting shop. Sorry I took so long, love, I got talking to Eric and Stanley in the post office. See, told you kids, what did I tell you? He'd be talking to them too, wouldn't I? Come on, let's get going. Grandpa, why do you have to wear your glasses all the time? And what's a betting shop? And why do you go there with your friends? I have to wear them all the time so I can see what you're up to, you little bugger. Now stop asking questions. Granny said you had to wear them because you're as blind as a bat and you can't see without them. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, did she now? Well, that's not the case. It's so I can keep a better eye on you. Right, let's get going. I wonder where George has got to. I bet Mildred ain't letting him out to play. Huh? He's probably hit his glasses again like she did last time. Huh? Oh, where's my glasses gone? Can't see a bloody thing without them. I bet that little bugger's took him. He was asking questions earlier. Sam! Sam! Where's my glasses? <laughs> oh! There's a door there. Oh, my bloody nose hurts now. Granny! Granny! Grandpa's chasing me! Oh, George, leave the poor boy alone. You've been having a go at him all day. But that little git's nicked my glasses and hidden them. Where are they, boy? Grandma told me to hide them so you couldn't go to the betting shop with your silly friends. I see trees are green Red roses too I see them blue For me and you And I've been to myself what a wonderful world. This is a really nice. <laughs> uh, what? This is a really nice restaurant, Peep Hop. Uh, who? <laughs> no. The restaurant. It's nice. This is a really nice. <laughs> uh, what? This is a really nice restaurant, Peep Hop. Uh, who? <laughs> no, the restaurant. It's just it's nice. Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Stuart. I'll be your waiter tonight. Tonight's special is a succulent hand-cut veal with capers and a decadent lemon sauce. I want applesauce. Hey, Pop, you silly goose. We don't have applesauce. Uh, what? I definitely wouldn't mind some beef stew, though. Uh, who? 
Uh, please, call me Stuart. I want applesauce. <laughs> they don't have applesauce. What? They don't have applesauce. What? They don't have applesauce. Who? They don't have apple. What? They don't have apple. You guys wouldn't happen to have applesauce, would you? No. 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 What? Um. You know what? My dad's a little hard of hearing. Let's just get him the chicken Caesar salad. I hate salad. We're here because somebody stole our tax. It was not me. I'm actually a monkey's uncle. Those were vitamins, those were Viagras. What's that? I feel like I had... wanting a challenge. Was this the challenge I expected? Absolutely. No, nowhere near. I thought it would be like kids or adults with different needs, but this was a whole other level. I want him to be the second creepiest guy on the bus. That's all we're aiming for here. That's the moon. I tried to get him out there, try taking him to the park, try telling him about the sun, how it wasn't going to burn him. Tried lighting a fire in the garbage can. That just made him groggy. They seemed to like it. Honestly, uh, I put him in a chokehold. They seemed to like that too. Should I mention I have a two year degree? It's been four years of my life. I got him to the park two times. And each time, oh man, I had to hold off. Just shoved him into that duck pond. Boy, I want to hurt this kid. I'll show them videos of like people putting their pants on and you make it a game because they love games so you're just like ah oh, if you can get your shirt on the next 10 seconds I'll give you 10 coins there are never any coins you say bling 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 and they're happy oh he's just sitting there eating it I wanted to grab that ice cream out of his hands and throw it so far away from him. Can you imagine having a child, birthing it, raising it for 18 years, and then this happens? My God. you. Uh, what are you doing? What? Uh huh? Uh huh? Okay. Well, you have fun and then when you get a chance to call me and we'll talk monkey business. Bye. on Bye Bye Burnage. A good drenching will send them scuttling back to that stinking harbor. What about that? Oh, it takes a special kind of man to bring an owl to orgasm corn. Ah, me bollocks! This deep, my lovely. This deep. Ah, oh, that really hurts. <laughs> Oh, 
number is 6795. That concludes tonight's draw. If you're lucky enough to match all 18 numbers correctly, then you will be entered into the... <laughs> Bollocking bobbins. I'll never get off world at this rate. How many of the 18 numbers did you get, Tony? Most of them. How many really, Tony? Well, none, but I reckon my looks about to change. The odds of winning all five stages of the off-world lottery are incalculable. So there is a chance, then. Maybe you should stop looking for easy options and self-damaging escapism, Tony. You're right, lovey. Now get us a pint of Soylent Super Oblivion, will ya? Grant and True Histories is coming on in a moment, and I'll need to revise for my off-world citizenship test. Churchill, I read in the Times there's talk of erecting a statue of you in the Parliament Square. Oh, indeed. Sexy thing by the looks of it and all. In fact, next time I'm in town, I've a mind to clamber up and bugger it senseless myself. Outrageous! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Did I speak out of turn? Marbles, Carson. And none of the horses pissed the dowager has been poisoning us with all evening. Mr. Churchill, you are drunk. And you, my dear, are ugly. But tomorrow <laughs> I will be sober and you will still be ugly. And bread. Bread ugly. I see. Here, Lady Dowager, have a nice piece of pineapple for dessert. <laughs> Welcome to the British Empire. That's it, Winnie. You show those posh bastards what for. It's one of our own. It's one of our own. Winston Churchill. It's one of our own. Here's that pint you asked for, Tony. Ugh, this doesn't look right. Ugh. We interrupt your mandatory advert viewing with some breaking news. What's for tea tonight, anyway? I'm starving. Nothing, Tony. You spent our last Crichton credits on a lottery ticket, cheap alcohol, and some elephant K. And it's an incredible story, George. Has someone won the lottery, Suzanne? There are only two mouldy potatoes left in the fridge, and as you know, my programming prevents me from preparing you a nutritionally unbalanced meal. No, George. We're receiving word that the world's Ooh. last surviving Ooh. owl has escaped the Crichton Corporation's HQ oh, in the damage ah, this is the fucking unbalanced! If sighted, do not approach the bird and contact the Crichton Corporation immediately. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the Crichton family at this time. Don't open it, love it. I'm practicing social banishment. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. <sighs> hey, Mollock, come back here with more bollocks. Hey, up, what the fuckity fuck bobbins is going on here? Tony, I believe it is the world's last surviving owl being chased by a man with no testicles. You monster! Well, what if will kill me if I go home as a eunuch? Leave this to me, love it. That's how you deal with a home invasion, love it. An appropriate and proportionate crippling. Oh, for Crichton's sake! Castrated by an owl and then kneecapped by a pensioner! What a fucking day! <sighs> More cleaning and tidying for me, then. Oh, pound to a penny, that's a communist surveillance drone, love it. The story was over Crichton book last week, probably after my lottery numbers. But Tony, the news said it's the last surviving owl, a real owl. And you believed them? As sure as Hong Kong's British, that's a Marxist spy drone come to disrupt our unique way of life. Tony. Stay still, you fucking <laughs> communist fuck. <laughs> what the heck? Why not Timmy Roberts? Love it. Situation report. I believe it's behind the television, Tony. Right. Enough of this nonsense. It's time for the Crichton off-world assault rifle, or as I call it, the fuck off world and die rifle. Oh. Friendly fire, Tony! Friendly fire! It's just a scratch. Now where's that drone? I think it's over there behind the barrels of highly flammable and unstable fuel you have been storing in case of shortages. Oh yeah, those barrels of highly flammable and unstable fuel I've been storing in case of shortages. Oh, that ain't gonna end well, I tell ya. I concur. So you wanna play it rough, eh? Well, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Bastard! Love it! Got a DEFCON 1. Secure the perimeter. Nothing comes in or out. Yes, sir. Secure the perimeter. Nothing in, nothing out. Just like your brain. Where are you, my synthetic feathered four? I know you're out there somewhere, watching, waiting, your beady fucking eyes on me. Get it off of me! Get it off of me! Hey! Love it! This is yours. I got it, Tony. 
<laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, what next? Has anyone got any moisturiser? Medic! Medic! It's airborne now. Just where I want it. Love it. You got a bearing? Tell you, only spotted at 2 o'clock. Elevation 9 feet. Airspeed 2.7 knots. Target is diving. It's on us. What, what about the wind speed, love it? Fuck, 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 fuck. Ooh. What's the wind speed? Ooh. Fuck. What's the wind speed? Oh, fuck. What's the wind speed? Fuck. Ooh. What's the wind speed? Fuck. Bollocks, oh, it's a siege now, I love it. Get ready. He'll be coming for us at any minute. But, Tony, I really don't think that's a communist surveillance drone. Oh, I've no time for conspiracies, love it. Now, pass that pint. I ain't going to meet the baby Jesus sober. But, Tony, the baby Jesus is a communist. The pianist, I know. He can do anything, that kid. Now, pass us the pint. <sighs> well, it's been a long war. An unnecessary war. A hard war. A war. My bollocks! We have fought well, comrades, but now we must accept defeat. The first world communist spy drone with a beat full of bollocks war is over, and we have lost. Ah, oh, fuck it! I ain't losing! <laughs> 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 The old magic never leaves you. Did I tell you I used to be the Northwest Stock Blade Runner? You may have mentioned it before, Tony. Yeah, I love it. Do these communist surveillance birds have fake blood and guts? Fucking hell. Well, you look at this. The detail is amazing. Check out the testicles. Oi, hands off. They're mine. To the victors, the spoils. Oh, it's all very much. Congratulations, Tony. You have killed a real owl. Perhaps the last remaining owl on planet Earth. Really? Day. Oh, well, um, I never like to twit to who twats anyway. Oh, yeah, it's real, all right. And it's going to get really real for you when Crying's Goons track you down. You're going to be really dead. Dead, 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 for fuck's sake. Why didn't you warn me, love it? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Tony, he's right. The Crichton Corporation will find out and will be terminated. Quiet, I'm thinking. Hmm. Now, what would Winston do? Ah, oh, yes. A massive cover-up, disposal of all the evidence, and a big dinner with a ton of booze. Oh, lovely petal. You've outdone yourself tonight. This is delicious. Top quality stuff. You'd pay a bomb for this in a restaurant. Thank you, Tony. It's an old recipe from the 16th century. Oh, it's some of the best evidence I've ever eaten. Sorry to interrupt the enjoyment of your meal. Never interrupt me when I'm eating. It's a sacred <laughs> Fucking gonads again. What a day. What a day. Tony. It were an accident, love it. Bollocks and grow back. They always do. It's nature's way. Now, nah, sure up, will ya? I'm having me tea. Oh, uh, now, yeah, knowing the day I've had, and anything I say will never to be lead to serious injury, but, oh, well, I'm not feeling so well. Can someone have a look at this? Oh, medic. Medic. Oh, God. What a palaver. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Krusty, we're going on tour in a week. We need to talk about the, uh, condition of your car. What do you mean? There's nothing wrong with the Crustmobile. You named your car? Yeah. Well, that's lame. Well, at least I have a car. Yeah, a car you need to get fixed. Oh, because I have money. Look at me. I go to the bathroom with a gold toilet, and I use dollar bills as toilet paper, and then I pull up my underpants that I can actually afford. I bathe in cubic zirconias, and I bathe once a day, because, you know, that's what rich people do in their big palatial estates next door to Michael Bay, who keeps you up at night because he's filming explosions. Because I'm rich. You have a job. What do you do with that money? My life is in shambles and I have no control over it whatsoever! Ugh. I pay my rent? Crusty, you live in a van down by the river. You live in a van down by the river! No, I live in my parents' basement and mooch off of them like any self-respecting crust punk. You said it, not me! You know what? Here's $200. Go get your car fixed up. 
Where'd you get $200 from? I got it from my dad. I don't think he's gonna miss it. I am Mike Sharp for getting Come the on. Duke over Son of a... Uh... Just promise me you'll take the car to the mechanic. Alright, Ford! I promise I'll take the car to the mechanic so he won't die on tour! Jeez! Krusty, if you don't get those new brakes, we're probably not even gonna be able to make it out of state. Brakes don't make a car move, they make it stop, you dingus! Even I know that! <laughs> Krusty, I thought you promised to get the brakes fixed. I never promised to get the brakes fixed. I promised I'd take the car to the mechanic. Okay, then I want my $200 back. No can do. I already spent it on the car to get it fixed up. But your brakes are still squealing. What the hell did you get fixed up on it anyways? <laughs> Stop doing that. Oh yeah? Well, you sound like Marge Simpson. At least I don't complain like her! You know what, Krusty? Maybe you're right. Maybe I do complain too much. I mean, the brakes are just a little bit noisy. What's the worst that could happen? The brakes can get out on a steep hill and we can fall off the side of a cliff? Yeah, but what are the chances of that happening? Very likely, because it's about to. Ah! How you reckon them crust balls are gonna get out of this one? Breaking news just in, alien known as Lug is being released today after 24 hours interrogation, but meanwhile a robot was found at the scene of the landing and reprogrammed and released. Hey fuck you robot! What you mean? You crashed the scooter. You know that's the only motherfucking scooter I got to leave these goddamn pizzas. You know what? Get the fuck out. And hey you. What the fuck you little robot ass. Tin ass motherfucker doing in my shop. I was wondering about the job. The fucking job. The job man. Get the fuck out of my shop before I kick your ass out. Hang on. Is that wheels you got on them feet? Hey, come over here. Bang. 
Hello, Reggie Dawson. Welcome to the Late Night Late Show. Today, we have got the non, the only, Mr. Lug. It's only recently he landed on Earth, and he's rose to fame so fast. He's featuring in two all-star films. The Love Father and Lambo. How are you finding all this fine luck? And how have you been coping with it? Thanks, Les. Well, it's easy, isn't it? I've always wanted to be famous. And now I'm here on Earth. Why not? I've got women. I've got girls. And, oh yeah, I love all our fans too. But yeah, catch me in the new films, yeah? Hello, Mr. Luck. This is a call to say you are now officially broke. What do you mean, I'm broke? I can't be broke. I've never been broke in my life. You are broke, sir. So, I've gone ahead as your agent and set you up a one-off match down at Old Watts's. Old Tilly Bar. You go and speak to Mr. Watts's. And he's going to tell you all about it. I know you like your cards, and I know you love to gamble. You win this match, you keep your chain, double your money, and you get back to starting. So you finally came. The agent transferred me the money. All's going ahead. You go out back, meet Mr. Orange over there, when it takes all. Any cheating, you'll find a camera right above the shutters, and I'll be fastening down on you like a lightning bolt to sit your goddamn sorry ass. So you listen to Mr. Watson. When it takes all, one hand. Ha 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 ha. treat me, look. This is what you get. Yeah. Oh, no. Bail money met for look. Release. Ah, hey, fuckers. Now we're back. Let me ask you a question. Why well, did you say we at jail? Actually, I do know. Because I am a film star. <laughs> I get it. You want an autograph. You're one of them mad fans, ain't you? Well, you're in luck. I saved you. Because... Look, Nit. Why haven't you taken over Earth? And where is the green sewer? Oh, hey, there, I am everywhere. I'm on a TV over there, I'm on a TV over there, I'm on a computer over there. Hey, hey, fella. Oh. I 
because it's winter. Can we move that thing over a bit? We can try. So we can pull the camera up and we can see what's going on with this. Let's just try that. Our drummer's getting a little cold in his corner, but he'll warm up once we start playing something, you know? That 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 hi-hat stand is going to be, like, on fire. <laughs> that cord wrapped around it. Ooh, I have Maybe I should hold that. <laughs> The more aggressive, the check, or do you want the mellow? Chug, chug, chug. No, oh, yeah, how about that snowstorm? Damn. Oh, there's no strings. Yeah, we don't need any strings on that. Recording takes after Saturday Night Live, because like 
<laughs> when I was doing recording takes <laughs> in the daytime or just whenever it just wasn't working out. Even some nights it just wasn't working out. And then something about being live. I can hit them high notes. Like I was back in chorus. And hitting the high notes. And the tenor. Okay. Oh, one of the phones is down. Ah. Now, I'm going to try to do the thing that we talked about on on the song, you know, the the thing. Yeah? Yeah, the thing. I'm going to try to do the thing. If anyone notices, let us know. And if anyone doesn't notice, just let us know you listened. It'll be great. It'll be fun. It'll be good. Let's fucking do it. We're going to have to, you know, something like, like o- Electrician Buddha had to jump in on this. And, yeah. Um, and, and he forgot his drink inside where the power issue happened. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah, that is, those are expensive. Well, um, I guess we'll have to play this song in honor of the one we lost. Well, sometimes that's not a bad thing when it's all over the place. Well, if I would have 
you know, cleaned up the shelf in preparation. I'd just slurp it right off like the good old days. Well, you didn't know that that was going to happen. I so didn't know it would ever happen, that my <sighs> big butt would knock off a drink. You know. Hey, yo, so, yo, new. I believe my, my quoted yo. statement right after it happened I was, I fucking knew that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you know, just, uh, you, could, you could join my weight loss plan. It's called... Didn't working. we say if enough people liked and commented one of the videos that we – that was a past episode, I know. But yeah. To bring yeah, we that said up. we would work out. Well, dude, I've been getting I'd say a th- I said that we'd out. get gym memberships, man. Well, now, look, let me tell you something real quick. And we'd use them. We'll, we'll take videos of us using the gym memberships. I, I started work. And we'll, we'll put I it was, in our skits. I was 345 pounds. I weighed myself yesterday. And came in at 325. That's what fucking stacking 50 pound bags all day will do to you. Yeah. And I feel fucking great. I but feel like the unknown is approaching. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, again. But and hopefully we don't blow But up unfortunately for you, it starts with me. <laughs> Whoa, there's that sound. It starts. I think it has something to do with the power. Well, no, it wasn't doing that because the PA was off, so there's that. (laughs) That helps. All right, try this again. And I'm in tune now. It'll be good.
take it to the moon? You got this one by now, right? You've been listening to it enough? I don't know what that is, but I really hope it's not on the stream all night. <laughs> Wouldn't that We're suck during the middle oh. of a song? <laughs> 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 Yo, the speaker's no. fucking Fuck drinking. That. Dude, oh my god. The speaker's more drunk than I am. Ah. No, not that song. Did we mute number 12 on that? Hold on, real quick. We might want to check that because we could be coming off echoey as <laughs> fuck. Yeah, number 12. The number 12. The last channel on there. Is it? <gasps> oh, no. Okay, well, yeah, let's just we played that last let's song. Let's just go to the moon. Good. Let's just go to the moon. I thought that sounded fucking good. Just the, <gasps> the second time.
voice started giving out. Oh, yeah? I don't know if you heard that. That fucking hurt. No, my fucking throat was, like, fucking all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Dr. Pepper. Mountain Dew. Fucking, uh, Fireball. I forgot what it was called for a second. Uh, We're not sponsored by Fireball. But Wait one second. But Fireball. <laughs> Fireball is nothing like Mountain Dew. What the fuck? <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Oh, oh, that one. Okay. something a little slower. All of a sudden, felt like doing a Phil Collins drum beat there. Hey, no, that's not. <laughs> I, I was trying to like as soon as you did that, I was like, oh shit, I gotta fucking throw something in there, and I, I fucking right, biffed right. it.
They can't all be winners. Well, it has been a good time tonight. That's the fireball, man. That's that's the fireball talking. But yo, so like, comment, and subscribe, and and share, and you know like the page. You know, tell your mom, tell your sister, tell your dad. You know, just just you know, you don't get free shit. Everybody loves free shit. I you know who who could say no to something for free? 
Like, you know, even if it's good or bad, whatever, if you liked it, if you don't like it, it's still free. I mean, it's not like gas, which is not free. This is free. And you don't have to do anything. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to let Buddha take you gonna, over. You going to join me on this one? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I I just got all my like freestyle like ideas out. <laughs>